Hey everyone, this is Marlene with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. So in today's video, we'll be making this delicious and also fitting for the weather, green goddess potato salad. So for this potato salad, it's not like your usual uh, potato salad. It does not include any dairy. Uh, we'll definitely be keeping it on a healthier side and we are using the baby potatoes to make it. Once you slice your potatoes, you'll notice that I'm using the little potatoes. Um, they are multicolored and you can get them from your local grocery store. So go ahead and slice your potatoes in half. I like to keep a bowl of water next to me. That way I can put the potatoes in and it makes it easier for me to wash. Plus it keeps the potatoes from turning brown. Once you're done, go ahead and wash your potatoes and sit it aside. Be sure to drain it first. We are going to cut a fourth cup of red onion. Go ahead and dice it. You can roughly chop it or finely dice. This is what makes the salad different than the ones that we are used to making um, during this time of year, is that we are adding in Mediterranean greens to it. Now, if you are not used to this type of greens, it, this one in particular is the turnip leaves. It's very healthy and it's similar to kale. So you would want to clean it the same way you would clean kale or collard greens. So go ahead and roughly chop it and do the same thing with your fresh parsley. You can use either curly parsley or Italian flat parsley. Sit it aside. I definitely recommend that you rinse your greens before using. Go ahead and cut up your olives and we are also adding in kosher baby deals. So go ahead and roughly chop it and set it aside. And all of these are components that we will be adding in to building up the flavor that goes into this salad and making it very healthy. We're also adding in English cucumbers. You can seed it or leave the seeds in. Go ahead and dice it. Once you're done, set it aside. And we're also adding in cherry tomatoes. And for this, all you need is about five ounces. That would be enough for the salad. Once you have strained your baby potatoes, go ahead and add in your greens, add in your cucumber, add in your tomatoes, add in your olives, add in your red onions, add in the juice from two lemons, and also add in your extra virgin olive oil, about a third cup. Salt and pepper to taste and mix well. And that's it guys. This is perfect, especially for um, Mother's Day brunch. This will be perfect for that. And this is something that you can serve during your barbecue gatherings. So the full recipe, of course, is on the website at savvythoughts.com and we'll also share step-by-step -step photo guide to make this with ease. If you're new here, we would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Cheers.